Ostia from Ostia. I'm Lorenzo from Ostia. And I'm Sara from Verona. And today we will cook for you, and only for you, an amazing Italian recipe called Amatriciana. Yeah. Welcome back in our Italian kitchen. Now we will present you our fantastic ingredients. So, let's start with the appetizer. We have uh, salami and uh, parmigiano reggiano directly from Italy, original taste, Italian soul. <laughs> and now for the preparation of our pasta, we need only two ingredients, flour and eggs. So this is magic, only two ingredients, one fantastic dish. And for the amatriciana sauce, really important, we need some tomato sauce, Uh, pecorino romano and the most important ingredient this beautiful guanciale da matrice hey! hey! this is for the oil <laughs> and that's all guys so let's start doing this wonderful homemade pasta we only need flour and eggs for every egg we need 100 grams of flour we have to put the floor on the table and create uh, an hole in the middle, like this. And in this hole, we have to break the eggs. One. one egg is for one person, right? Yeah. Lorenzo? One egg and one hundred gram. And then we start mixing it. It will take a bit of time, but it will be good. So it should look more or less like that. Yeah, it should work a bit more. Then we should work more, a bit more. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and, that's and it. the eggs are important not only for the dough and the taste, but also for the color. I think it's beautiful, like a bit yellow, right? Now our beautiful dough is ready. As you can see, it's really smooth and soft. And uh, we are ready to use uh, this important tool, the roller, to make it um, wider and uh, to make our pasta. So we have put uh, some flour on the, um, on the table and we start like with this movement. Go! Go! Press. Go. You have to put all your energy and in one direction and then we can turn a little bit and do it in the other direction if you don't have a gym in your house <laughs> making pasta this is, is a, perfect this is a great perfect. way but all uh, the effort is worth it then because when you sit and have your lunch we will be so happy that you forget all the, the stress, mm, the stress. <laughs> And as you can see, this uh, dough is really soft uh, and if you are stressed, uh, you start uh, making pasta and all the problems uh, will uh, go away. <laughs> so now, this, uh, move a little bit. Okay, so now we are ready with our dough, which is uh, flat, which is uh, round as a pizza, but it's uh, pasta. And uh, it should be like uh, two millimeters uh, of uh, height. And uh, what we need now? Only a knife. Actually, in Italy, sometimes we have like a, a machine to uh, do all this process and to cut pasta. But we can also do just with uh, the roller pin and the knife. Because we don't have the machine. Exactly. And uh, it's uh, more handmade and crafted. <laughs> so now we put some uh, flour here. And to cut the, um, the shape of pasta as a um, tagliatelle, let's say, we can uh, roll uh, the pasta the dough, like this. Yeah. And cutting, let's say, one centimeter uh, of uh, yeah, one centimeter. This one is short because it was the, the beginning. 
probably do like this. And we can see here we put with the flower, flower, yeah. Our beautiful uh, pasta is taking shape. <laughs> then when we have uh, cut it all uh, the uh, pasta, the, the slices, we can leave it uh, for like uh, half an hour before uh, cooking it. Uh, so with uh, some uh, flour and uh, covered under um, a sheet, you can say, yeah. Okay, so we finish this process. Last pieces. It's better to roll the dough, so it's easier to have the same, um, like uh, mm, one centimeter all the for all the lengths of the pasta. So here. Da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Our beautiful uh, tagliatelle! <laughs> so, once you are done with the pasta, you have to start cutting the guanciale. First of all, you have to cut this part, the back of the guanciale, because it's too strong to eat, but it's very important because it will release all the fat that it's necessary for the cooking of the meat of the guanciale. So it will appear like that. Here we have the guanciale and here we have the cotenna. Now we are cutting the meat. It has to have uh, this shape, like small ones. And every one of that should have a part of fat and a part of non-fat. So that's why we are cutting in vertical. So now we are ready to start to cook the sauce. First of all, we have to cook the guanciale. So the first part we are gonna put in the pan is the cotenna because it will release a lot of fat and we will cook the guanciale in its own fat. So we have to do like this and push to start releasing all the fat in the pan. And now we can put the guanciale. So we cook the meat, then we put some red wine and a lot of tomato sauce. And now it's time to add a bit of black pepper and salt. So here is the black pepper. And a bit of salt. And then we can keep mixing it. Okay, so now we have our beautiful prepared pasta, our sauce, which is uh, cooked, it's done, and the boiling water with salt. So now we are putting uh, inside uh, our pasta. Uh, since it is a uh, fresh pasta, it just needs uh, like uh, three minutes to cook, and uh, which is the signal to understand that it's cooked. When the pasta comes up, like uh, now it's underwater, but it will start uh, coming up and up on the surface and uh, it will be perfect. Ta-da! As you can see here, the pasta is like uh, floating on the surface, so it uh, came up and it means that uh, it's uh, ready. So we're gonna take the pasta from the water 
and put it in the sauce. And the result, as you can see, is this beautiful pasta la matriciana. <laughs> And it's ready! Our beautiful pasta la matriciana and our appetizers, salame and parmigiano reggiano. And now, enjoy!